Hello, my name is Amir Emmett, and I work in technical marketing at Cloudflare. Today I'm going to demo Cloudflare WAF and highlight its layered security approach. In this scenario, I intentionally have a vulnerable application deployed, and I'm going to demonstrate Cloudflare's WAF layered security protections. Here you can see in our Cloudflare security policies, we're looking at custom rules. And we have some rules here with different types of attacks, and these rules are leveraging our threat intelligence variable WAF attack score, which gives the likelihood of an attack. Here you can see a very specific rule on SQL injections. This rule is blocking requests where SQLI WAF attack score is less than or equal to 49, which is likely an attack. And also, customers can easily configure rate limiting rules here. The Cloudflare WAF also provides pre-configured managed rule sets for protection against zero days and common attacks. Now here we have a web application with vulnerabilities that is protected by Cloudflare. Here an employee performs a string SQL injection attack to get back confidential information about the salaries of all employees. It's basic SQL knowledge and because the application is concatenating a user supplied string into a query unsanitized, the hack should work. However, here you can see a Cloudflare security policy has blocked the action. Going back to our WAF, if we look at the events, and I'm gonna go ahead here and we'll go ahead and filter on the specific source IP that I know is doing the attack. And it'll pull up all the information, including the logs. So I'm going to scroll down here and we'll go ahead and expand one of these logs. And you can see here, this is the attack that just happened. And a custom rule has blocked the attack. This custom rule uses Cloudflare threat intelligence that blocks anything with a low enough SQLI WAF attack score that is considered likely an attack. Now I'm going to go back to my security policies and we'll go ahead and disable this custom rule for SQLI attacks, which is right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and disable this. Okay, so let's try this attack again. And I'm just going to go ahead and refresh the page here. And we're going to go ahead and run that same exact attack again. Here you can see a Cloudflare security policy has still blocked the action. Going to our WAF, if you take a look at the events, you can see now instead Cloudflare managed rule set has blocked the attack. These are rules curated by Cloudflare that are continuously updated and automatically protecting customers from the latest threats. Let's head over to the security rules and also disable these managed rule sets. We'll scroll down here to manage rules and we're going to go ahead and disable this. Let's go ahead and run this attack again. So same attack, we're going to run it. And again, you can see Cloudflare security policy is still blocking the action. Going to our WAF, if you take a look at events, we can see now instead Cloudflare OWASP core rule set has blocked the attack. These are Cloudflare's implementation of the OWASP mod security core rule set, which mitigates common attacks. And if we expand the additional logs here, we can see a number of OWASP core rules were hit each one adding to an overall anomaly score until this rule was triggered. So here you can see Cloudflare's layered defense really come into play. Finally, let's go ahead and disable the OWASP core rule set as well. So we'll scroll down here and we'll just go ahead and disable it. And then we'll go back and run the same attack again. Now you'll see here with all the Cloudflare mitigations disabled, the hack is successful and all the salary information of the employees is obtained. The next step here would be perhaps increasing my salary by doing something like query chaining. Now for a broader view, we head over to security analytics. Under attack analysis, you can see requests broken down by WAF attack score signifying the likelihood of an attack. Under bot analysis, the same can be seen for bots with bot score and the likelihood of a bot. Under rate limit analysis, we provide additional information and analytics around rate limiting. Using the AI Assistant Cloudy, let's go ahead and compare mitigated attacks across three of our subdomains that we're concerned with. 
and here you can see the results. And of course, on top here, we also provide critical insights such as unmitigated threats scored as attack so customers can jump right to what matters.